chance. Are you ready for some adventure? Yay! Hi everyone, are you ready for worship? Let's sing along and do the actions together. It's 
Jesus. He taught people many great things and he did many miracles too. People were amazed by wow. Jesus and they brought their little children to Jesus so that he could pray for them. The disciples, however, told them, Stop bringing your children to Jesus. But Jesus said, Let the children come to me. Do not stop them because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people who are like this. So Jesus placed his hands on them and prayed for them and went on from there. Wow, amazing! The Bible tells us how much Jesus loves us. It's like his personal letter to us, telling us how much he loves us and how much he cares for us. The Bible even tells us that God knows how many hairs you have. Do you know how many hairs you have on your head? What do we have here? It's a letter! How do I know it's for me? Look! It's got my name on it. I'll keep this and treasure this because it's from someone special to me. Sometimes, you might find it hard to read the Bible. The Bible is actually like a letter God writes to us. It tells me about God's love to you and how much Jesus loves you and all his promises to you and you and you and me too! This is a special one that says I love you with the love forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever! And ever. Jeremiah 51 verse 3 I love you forever and ever and ever And that's another one For God so loved the world He gave his only and one son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3 16 Wow, the Bible tells us that God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for you and us on the cross so that we can be friends with God. His love for you and me will last forever and ever and ever because we are super important to him. How to read the Bible Number 1 Number 1 Pick up the Bible Number 2 Open the Bible Number 1 Number 3 Read the Bible So, let's keep on reading this special book and find out more about all the love letters and the promises God has for us Let's pray 
Dear Jesus, thank you for your love to us. Thank you that you're always guiding and teaching us. We pray that we will understand more of your words every day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi kids! Today we are making flying ball. Alright, let's see what we need. Color paper, white paper, a straw, bendable straw, large size round item, tape, pencil, ruler, eraser, scissors, a sharpie, black color sharpie, and glue. Alright, let's start! Take out your color paper and we will use the large round size item. With this, we draw two circles here. Two lines next to the circle. And now we can cut them out. Next, take the white paper and draw another two smaller circles. Let's cut them out. Next, we're gonna draw the eye. On one side of the corner, we're gonna draw out the teeth. Now, find the center of the circle and draw a line to the edge. And we can cut the line. Put some glue on so that we can stick it over. Now we can fix the eye. Cut a small hole at the bottom of this cone. Now you can take any scrap paper and cut up a small piece to make a paper ball. Now it's done! Have fun! Bye bye kids! See you next week! Thank you very much for joining us. See you next week! Bye!